Yeah, good morning, everyone. I welcome you to the Daily Dose series of Tableau Visualization. In today's video, I'm going to share an interesting topic to create a calendar view in Tableau, right? Before I get started with that, if you have not subscribed my channel, please go ahead and subscribe my channel so that you can keep getting latest updates and new videos from my site. Having said that, let's go ahead and open Tableau. And before that, I said that we are going to create calendar view. For calendar, what you need? Date. Let's create some sample data in Excel. Let's assume I'm going to create it for 2021. So I'll just create a sample date here, something like this. I can drag it so that I can get it for all 65 days related to 2021. That's fine, I think I have got enough data. We'll save this file. I'll call it date. Here we go. So this data is saved on my desktop. I'll just close that file and on Tableau desktop, I'll connect using Microsoft Excel. I'll go to desktop, browse that file and open it. Here we go. We got our date. I'll just go to sheet. And over here, as I said, I need calendar view, right? So calendar view, basically the way you see all 30 or 29 or 28 or maybe 31 days in a calendar, I would like to see that by each month, right? Maybe you can have like selection by month and then you see all 30 days. So that is what we are trying to create. Let's see how it goes. I'll drag my date into columns. And over here, you see like we are getting 2021 and 2022 both because I dragged a little bit more in Excel file and that is why I got few dates of 2022. So let me just do first over here as, I mean, I'll convert this year date into a combination of year and month. So we know like what year and month we are going to see in our data. And then I might use a filter over here based out of years so that we can see data for one year at a time. As of now, I'm selecting 2021, right? So I would see all the months related to year 2021. And I'll just um, kind of you know change the format here so that you see exactly the same format which talks about year and month combination, right? So maybe I can go ahead, right click over here, format, and I can select custom and I will call it something like this. So you see month and year combination. That's one thing which I wanted to do. Second thing, maybe as of now you see it is in the continuous format. I will try to convert this into discrete. Here we go. We are getting all the months with the year combination. The next thing is I'll drag the same date again. And I would like to see, for example, like in calendar, I'll just show you. Over here you see calendar. So all the dates are there, days are there. You see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I want to create the same view. You got month and year combination here, and then you got all the days. And then below that you got different days. That is a view I'm trying to create in Tableau. So the second thing what I need is these dates, days basically. So I'll convert this date into weekday. That is this. So you see here, you got month and then you got days, weekdays, that is Sunday to Saturday. Now below this, I need to see 
these particular dates which are by each week like week one week two week three week four week five i need these rows based out of week number right week number so what i'll do i'll drag this date again and convert this into week number now you see oh it's again in continuous I need to convert this into discrete. Here we go. So, but again, it says, um, let, let's convert this into in a way so that we get it by week number, something like this. So total 52 weeks should be there in your year, 52 or 53, 52 days, sorry, weeks and few days. So that's why you call it 53 weeks over here. Now, January, you see from week one to week six, Feb, you see from week six to week 10. March, you see from week 10 to week 14th and so on for different other months, right? But this view is like, you see for Jan, I'm getting data here. For Feb, the data would come here. March, it would come here. So that view is not very, you know, good in terms of visual or appearance. So what I'll do, I might add another filter here based out of my month. You can drag the date again and you can take months over here, all the months as of now. And what I'll do, I'll just select show filter. And what it is going to do is it will show you one month at a time. So you see here, you've got data rows by different weeks. You got month here and you got a title here. So what I'll do, I'll just hide all of these things. I don't need those things. Maybe I can go into entire view. So you see something like this. I don't need week, so I can hide that week too. Maybe I'll click on show header, it's gone. And then I can drag maybe the date which I'm looking for, right? So what I'll do, I'll just duplicate my date and I will try to bring just the day portion of it, right? Just the day portion. I'll put it on text and over here, I'll go for date. And then maybe I can have something related to this. So I know for each box, you see a date here, right? It shows from 1st August to 31st of August here. Right, maybe if you want to be a little bit innovative, you can add grid lines so that way it'll look better. Right, and further on it, maybe you can have color over here. Right, color based out of maybe let's say if I drag the same days, so it'll get something like this. But let me convert this into a square. Okay, it doesn't look good. Maybe I can go back and create one calculated field. I'll just have one continuous measure. I'll drag that on color. We'll convert this into let's say square. You see something like this. Right, so all the portion where your date is, you got a different color now, right? Maybe if I select, let's say, a different month, September, you got from 1st to 30th here. If you select July, you got 1st to 31st here. If you select November, you got 1st to 30th here. So you see all days, you see all the dates over here, and all the related days of a month are selected, right? Hope you like this video and please put your comments and suggest in case you need any further functionality on top of it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.